have in the back of their head, and I don't know who put it there, that they're not good at it. And the girls are good at it. It's just getting the courage and the confidence to get over that stereotype that somebody has stuck on them. These girls dream, envision, draw, plan, and make. They'll, they'll be able to see something in their mind, put it down on some paper, make it out of cardboard, and then make out of metal, and uh, do it themselves. We have exactly six weeks to design, prototype, program, and build an entire robot. I didn't even know how to use a wrench before I joined this team. We had mentors so that we wouldn't chop our hand off. I'm actually able to use a drill now. I can go through a hardware store and be like, oh, that's a drill, that's a wrench, that's an Allen wrench. <laughs> I really love art, and the robot is kind of like a sculpture that we get to bring to life. So every single day you're problem solving, and every single day your brain hurts. They don't have big brother doing it, they don't have dad doing it, they don't even have the male mentors doing it. They're doing it, they're using those drill presses, they're using those CNC machines, they're doing it themselves. It's just kind of empowering. During competition, it's a lot of uh, energy. <laughs> running off to the field and running off to the pits to fix the robot. Duct tape, first and foremost, is used to decorate our robot and our pit. So whenever you walk into the competition uh, area, the pit area at competition, you can most definitely like pick out our pit. We have duct tape for every team ever who needs it on the field, and there's always time at competitions when somebody's looking for duct tape, and we're the first ones there with our bright pink duct tape. Um, it's a big part of, of who the Lady Cans are. Each year we make multiple thousands of duct tape bow ties and we hand them out wherever we go. And so that is a very basic first step. You know, once they know that they can create this, this, this beautiful bow tie, then that leads them to believe that they could build more. And so we start them off with like the bow ties or small projects like that, and then they build up to smaller robots and then eventually hopefully to our team. It's like a magic weapon. Once you know how to build a robot, once you're comfortable in the STEM world, it's like nothing can stop you. That's your power. You can go and, and do anything you want to do.